Uh, let's see. Toxic last one, Wombat. Toxic Magnum says, Hey, Cheapy, I've been listening to the CatCast for a while now, and I've heard you bash the Star Wars prequels, and I was wondering why you hate them so much. I'll feel Love this the one. Love and keep it up. Yes, please do. I was hoping you would. Um, that's because the Star Wars prequels take everything that's great about everything on the planet, rip it up into tiny little pieces, ingest it, shit it out, light it on fire, eat it, and shit it out again. And that is the problem with the Star Wars prequels. They are everything that's wrong with the planet on celluloid. The, yeah, they make the the screenplays of the original Star Wars movies look like Shakespeare. That's how bad they are. And you know the, the real the problem. Ones, uh, you know, the, there's a few major problems with the prequels. I'll, I'll get a little serious and explain. Yes, please I'll do. I'll explain please. what I really don't like about the Star Wars prequels. There were certain things about the original Star Wars trilogy that, when you watched as a child, made you feel a certain way. The idea of the Force and the idea of being a Jedi, although we all knew it was fiction, there was still a part of you that's like, well, maybe if I try hard enough, I could be a Jedi too. Where even mm-hmm. if you knew it wasn't real, I mean, there was a, a, you know, I think it was in England, they tried to register Jedi as a religion in the early 90s. Yes. Because it was a way of life. It was a, a, a way to think. It was, it was in many ways like a religion. And it was something that you could take to heart and believe in and enjoy. Now, when the prequels came out, we learned that being a Jedi wasn't something that everybody could be. You had to be born with a certain metachlorian count. And it basically took everything that you believed and hoped and learned and loved from the first movie that the Force can't be with you. The whole cusp of the first three movies is that the, the Force will be with you always. But then you learn that if you weren't born with the, with the crap already, then you're never going to have the fucking Force, so you better give up and don't try. <laughs> and that's the wow, moral wow, that... of, the, of the Star Wars prequels is give up, don't try. If you're not born with it, you're never going to get it. And wow, that is why I hate the Star Wars cl- prequels. <laughs> this hit very close to home for you, I can tell. Yeah. Yeah, so all your dreams were crushed by the Star Wars prequels. Basically, yeah. Uh, see, for me, it wasn't even that. It's just that the the writing was so awful. And not not like the original ones were so great or anything, but the the newer ones were just so bad. Like, they, it seemed like a like so, uh, an 11-year-old wrote it. It seemed like Happy Jack wrote it. <laughs> you know, like, it just like... I, I can't remember any of the dialogue off, off the top of my head, but I just remember like some of the dialogue between Anakin and Padme. And the age thing oh, like, didn't work for me either. Like, how come he aged and she didn't? I, I never quite got that. Right. Like the whole the, the love in the sand thing. <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah. I remember that one being particularly uh, particularly awful. I, I just the first movie could have been ten minutes long. Right. Like, I don't need to see two and a half hours of a 10-year-old. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 stupid. It was bad. Anyway, I think that's enough about Star Wars, Wombat.